for coming, okay? And today we're going to meet again, tomorrow morning, all right? Okay. <laughs> Actually, do you prefer to have the class during daytime or, or at daytime. night? Daytime. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, how many of you have already studied the materials uploaded online? Raise your hand. Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right, all right. Uh, do you still find it difficult to understand some concepts? Or you would like, uh, you know, I think reading the PPT or reading the articles is different, right? Okay, all right. So uh, we try to be more focused, you know, on these uh, uh, making up les lessons, okay? Uh, I'm not going to show you this video because it will last for 10 minutes, so I don't want to waste your time, okay? So you can watch this video yourself, okay? But this is a very nice video. Because this video actually uh, captures uh, the history of English in 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> right? So do you remember how long, uh, how long is history of an English? What is history, you know? How, how, do you remember? When started English to exist? When, you know, when did English start to exist? Do you remember? Start, maybe it started from around like five, five or six, seven hundred AD, right? So actually it only has a history of no more than 1,500 years. So it's relatively quite short, okay? So this 10 minute video actually captures the whole history of an English, okay? So it's quite interesting, okay? Oh, okay. Um, we discussed uh, we discussed these two key concepts uh, la last week: diachronic change and synchronic variation. Do you still remember the difference? Yes. If you know the difference, give me an example. I'm not going to test you the definition. Okay, just give me an example. Okay, show me that you have understood. So which one is this way? Which one is this way? Okay, diachronic, die, you know, this means cut, right? Diamond, right? I can't remember this, okay? So it means actually uh, uh, the lexical change or language change that uh, happen, you know, over history, right? So it's this, this way, okay? It could be very different, right? So what can be different? Think about language itself. Language form. Can language form be different? Yes. Yeah, the spelling, right? Yes. The spelling could be very different. Old English and modern English, they're very different, right? Okay. Yes. And what else can be different? Grammar. Yeah, grammar, right? Yes. And meaning, right? Semantics, right? Semantics. Or even how you pronounce the words, right? Yeah, that's right. So all this can be different. What about synchronic variations? This way, right? Okay. Can you give me any one example? Yeah, British English and American English is a good example, right? Uh, because of the geographic uh, difference, right? Okay, so uh, pronunciation is different. Maybe sometimes we use a certain uh, uh, different vocabulary items, okay? Okay, so okay, so this is the difference between diachronic and synchronic variation. Okay. Uh, overview of this lecture, uh, we talk about semantics. So do you rem still remember the meaning of semantics? What does semantics mean? Meaning. 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 That's right. Semantics. Okay. S E M. It means meaning, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to we're going to talk about two uh, terms, sense and meaning, two concepts. Okay. They are actually they are related to each other, but the meaning is different. Sense and meaning. Okay. And later I will tell you why. Do you know why they are different? You or you what way sense and meaning are different? Those who have already studied PowerPoints, can you try to answer this question? Sense and uh, meaning, what's the difference? Mm. 
Okay. Well, I'll tell you in a while, okay. <laughs> oh, denotation connotation. Actually, these pairs are quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Do you know the difference between them? Denotation is the meaning shown in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. And connotation is the meaning about your personal affection or experience. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it could be very different, right? Mm -hmm. So that means you know, denotation you know, is kind of some, you know, the meaning which is stated in a dictionary entry. So it's kind of fixed. Mm -hmm. And also maybe it's a core meaning, right? Based on the core meaning, you know, each of us may have some maybe uh, different associations or even personal uh, memory about certain words, right? Okay, so maybe for certain words, you know, you have a very positive connotation, you, well, you really like that word, but for others, maybe they hate that word, okay? <laughs> yeah. Our semantic fields. Semantic features and component analysis, okay. I think maybe some of you will find this part a little bit confusing, but actually, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll only touch very briefly uh, in this part, and it's not very important, okay. But you have to know something about semantic fields, okay, particularly in terms of how to apply this into our teaching, okay, and also I will show you a short video later. Uh, lexical relations, so words are related with each other, you know, like human beings. Human beings are related with each, uh, each other, you know, for example, some are our relatives, right? Some are our friends, right? So that's kind of relation. But how words are related with each other? Can you give me some examples? Yeah, some words can have similar meanings, so called synonyms. And what other meaning relations can they have? Antonyms, yes, and? Hyponyms, that's right, okay. So we're going to study these three, okay. Uh, semantics, you know that. Please, provide a missing word. Yeah, meaning, mm -hmm. yes, okay. And we, s we focus on s lexical semantics, so we're going to study the meaning of words and the meaning what between words. Relations, relation, that's right. Meaning relations between words, how, me, how words are related with each other, okay? Well, earlier, I'd, yeah, some of you already um, I asked you the difference, okay, uh, between this uh, pair, okay? The meaning of uh, these two words are similar, but are different, they're different. Synonyms? You know, when you look for when you look a word in the dictionary, often you will find how many meanings? More than one meaning, right? Yes. So each of these meanings called our sense, right? Yeah. So for example, if uh, there are seven entries, so you can see that this word has seven, seven, seven senses. Seven. Okay. So it's similar to the uh, denotation, right? Similar. Okay. But meaning is different. You know. Sense is a meaning, you know, out of out of a context. It's always there when you look at the word in the dictionary. The meaning is always there, right? But the meaning is different. Meaning is kind of uh, contextualized. Mm -hmm. The content carried by the word in communication. For example, like earlier, you know, okay, uh, the door is open, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I look at the door, maybe I, sa I said the door was, is open, so what, what do I mean? In this particular situation, what does it mean? The state of open. Because, you know, in the corridor, some students actually were crossing, they are, you know, talking, so it's been noisy, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, perhaps, what I want to say is the door is open, it's, it's been noisy. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. What about, for example, like this is winter, okay, and the door is open, and I, if I say the door is open, what does it mean? It's a bit cold. Yeah, it's a bit cold here. Maybe someone can help to close the door, right? Mm -hmm. So you see, the meaning is different. Meaning actually depends on the context, okay? Right. So we'll focus on meaning. Meaning is more interesting, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, before 
we talk about denotation connotation, we have to talk about two types of meanings, conceptual meaning and associated meaning. But you can guess what they mean, conceptual. This word comes from concept, right? Conceptual meaning, what does it mean? Can you, can you, can you, uh, can you associate conceptual meaning and associated meaning with denotation connotation? That's right. Conceptual meaning actually means uh, a connotation. Uh, uh, sorry, denotation. <laughs> and the social meaning means connotation. More or less, they mean the same uh, same thing. Okay, right? Uh, you know, conceptual meaning sense. The sense. Okay, it means a sense. Okay, uh, you know, denotes the stable semantic features of word. It is the what the core meaning of a word, right? The basic meaning, right? This is the meaning you're going to, you know, learn first, right? Okay. A social meaning uh, uh, different, you know, uh, refers to various associations or connotations, could it be positive or negative, that a word has, okay? So which type of meanings do we learn first? Conceptual or social meanings? Conceptual. Conceptual meaning first, right? In other words, you know, you know when you uh, you know encounter this word more in different contexts, and also when you have personal different experience, right? You attach different associations or connotations to some particular word. Okay. Now, for example, when you see these words, some needle, vegetable, meat, they are common words, right? We all know the conceptual meaning. Okay. Now, can you tell me the associated meaning or connotation of these words? Some. <laughs> Warm depends, right? In winter, warm, but in summer, scorching, right? <laughs> really depends, right? Needle, yeah, painful, right? Because all of you had experience of, <laughs> you know, particularly when you're a child, right? You're you're afraid of uh, the injection, like okay? it. Now, vegetable, green, healthy, okay. Meat, <laughs> sorry. Fat. 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 Oh, fat. Okay. So that means most of you do not, do not like meat, right? <laughs> so it actually shows uh, some of your attitude, right? Okay? That's right. Okay. But meat for, for some people could be delicious. For example, like my husband. My husband is a, a carnival, you know. <laughs> Eat lots of meat. He, okay? <laughs> right. And also, uh, I don't know why, I think uh, in recent years, there's kind of a new way of, uh, of having a diet, actually, to keep your body slim, actually, is to eat lots of meat. One of my colleagues actually uh, 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 tried try this way for one year, and he claimed that he lost 10, 10 kilos within two months. Yeah, and then he continued. <laughs> and actually, uh, 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 it's very popular in mainland China. I don't know whether you know about this or not. <laughs> okay. Well, or there's something, you know, okay, okay. Now, denotation and connotation, okay. So, denotation means what? Conceptual or? Conceptual. Yeah, conceptual meaning. Connotation means? Associated so, so, uh, so meaning, okay. Uh, so, denotation is similar to uh, con con conceptual meaning. The relation between words and what they refer to is called denotation. For example, rabbit. Rabbit is kind of animal, right? Mm -hmm. So immediately, you have this kind of animal in your mind. Uh, so that's the denotation of rabbit. So what's the connotation of rabbit? Cute. 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 Sweet. I don't, I don't touch it. But do, you, do, you, do you find a little bit stuffy? Is it okay for you? It's okay. Okay? All right. <laughs> Cute, right? Okay. Yeah. This is actually exactly, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, a rabbit is cute, right? Lovely. That's why my four-year-old daughter often uh, claims that she's a rabbit. <laughs> you know, I try to uh, correct her. You know, you're not a rabbit because uh, you were born in a year of sh uh, sheep. <laughs> but she still claims she's a rabbit. <laughs> okay. Uh, so connotation actually refers to a personal aspect, meaning the affective and emotional association of the word, a word elicits, okay. 
So it means that you know every every person you know you know every people you know every people every person could have a different connotation to you know to to the same word, right? Okay. Okay. Do you agree? Do you still agree that, for example, like girl has connotation gentle? What do you think? Yes. Oh no! <laughs> Compared with a boy, <laughs> you can't say. <laughs> Maybe you think it's uh, it's kind of uh, outdated, right? <laughs> you know, girls doesn't uh, you know do not need to be very gentle, right? Maybe they can be as uh, strong as uh, as male, as a boy. You know? <laughs> okay, right? Well, do you do you agree that pig has connotation dirty? No. So what's your connotation of pig now? Cute. 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 <laughs> really? Uh, uh, okay. Can you tell me why? They look cute. They look cute. So what kind of pigs have you seen? Peggy. 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 Uh, Peppa. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> have you ever been to the rural area? Uh, no. did, did you see real pigs? Yes. 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 <laughs> so when you, think, when you see real pigs, so what's your uh, connotation? Okay, perhaps you'll have a different uh, uh, you know, a uh, different uh, uh, idea about what pigs are, right? Mm -hmm. When you see someone, for example, when you want to insult someone, mm -hmm. you are as stupid as pig. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, right? Okay. Uh, so actually, uh, but it depends, okay? In the past, when we do not have pepper pig, right? <laughs> uh, you know, people generally have a negative, uh, you know, idea a negative connotation about the pig, right? Mm -hmm. Pig al also is considered very greedy. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Greedy. It's uh, actually the same, both in Chinese culture and Western culture. Pig can be greedy. But maybe this is unfair. This is unfair, right? This is unfair, but sometimes you cannot judge. Because, mm -hmm. you know, this is a... Uh, well, but later, maybe because you see, uh, you see more Peppa Pig <laughs> than real pigs. So <coughs> gradually speaking, perhaps, you know, younger generation, they have different idea about the pig. Mm -hmm. You know, they have maybe uh, more uh, positive connotations about the pigs. So this is possible. Remember, language is always changing, right? Mm -hmm. The meaning, okay, particular. So denotation equals what? Conceptual meaning and connotation? Associated meaning, that's right. Okay. Uh, well, I think maybe uh, this is uh, unnecessary, right? So you all understand the difference. <laughs> okay. All right. Types of meaning. <coughs> okay. Let's, uh, yeah, okay, sofa. So do you know the cons uh, conceptual meaning or uh, denotation of uh, medium, better? Medium, so, okay. so it won't be too hot for those who are towards the back, okay. So what is the conceptual meaning or denotative meaning of sofa, you know? You know, you know sofa, right? Yes. No, this is not very interesting because we all know this word, but conno uh, connotative meaning for you. So what are these different connotative meanings for you? Comfortable, what else? <laughs> comfortable, okay. <laughs> so comfortable, nice. So what do you do with sofa? You lie, you relax, you read, you watch TV, right? This is a common experience I have. So all of you perhaps agree. Comfort, relaxation, right? Yes. Watching TV, reading books. Have you ever slept in a sofa? Yes. Occasionally, always. <laughs> so your bed. <laughs> Could be your bed. Okay. Okay, so you can see that this one, the denotative meaning is quite fixed, but this is more uh, diverse, okay? Okay, now book. <coughs> what is connotative meaning of book? Can you give me some, you know, 
commonly meaning of book? Knowledge. Knowledge. What about you? Study. Study. Okay. What about you? Too many words. <laughs> Have too many unknown words or too many words? Okay, okay. So too many words. So that means you have some difficulty coping this way. Okay, right. Okay, what about you? Interesting. And what about you? Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Reading. Okay, reading. Okay. What about you? You are thinking about having a, you know, a holiday. Okay. So the life is a bit boring at the moment. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So you can see that the connoted meaning is quite different, right? Okay. There may be some uh, shared ones. We call it communal, so common, common, right? Like knowledge, okay, uh, like reading. I think most of you may perhaps will have this kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, connotation. There also be some personals, like right, like uh, uh, Yu, right? He's thinking about having a holiday, so he's thinking about <laughs> booking a hotel rather than read a book. <laughs> okay, could be a, it could be quite personal, you know, there will be a dimension which is personal, okay? Oh, okay, according to this uh, specialist, Leach, okay, the, uh, the connotative meaning one has for a word reflects his attitude, his or her attitudes, emotions, and the value judgment towards the world, okay? So we can't see, you know, your interpretation of this word is wrong, you know, because we cannot make this kind of a judgment, right? Okay, because everybody has a different experience, okay? And also connotations vary considerably according to culture, do you agree? Yes. Okay, historical period and experience of the individual. <coughs> do you agree? <laughs> okay, right. Uh, I think pig maybe is a good example, right? In the past, you know, normally uh, most people will have uh, negative connotations about pig, but nowadays, uh, you know, because of uh, the popular, you know, popularization of some, you know, like like uh, cartoon images, right, and the books associated with it, well, you know, pig has more uh, positive images, right? This is kind of uh, related to historical period, right? Okay, okay. Okay, so let's watch our short video, okay? So only two, uh, about two minutes, okay? about word connotation and denotation. By the end of this video, you'll know how to explain and recognize the connotative and denotative meanings of words in a text. But what are connotation and denotation? I'm glad you asked. I'll explain denotation first. Denotation is the literal meaning or dictionary definition of a word. It's very straightforward and easy. A red rose is a type of flower, while an apple is a delicious fruit. These are their denotations. But we know that language is more than just a dictionary definition. Words are associated with feelings and emotions that go beyond their literal meanings. The extra linked meaning is called word connotation, and it is created through personal, social, or cultural influences. Therefore, word connotations will not necessarily be the same for everyone, as they deal with the personal feelings and beliefs that are rooted in language. For example, the word father may mean something very different to two people who grew up with very different experiences. And the words dad and daddy have different con connotations from father as well. Likewise, while a rose is a type of flower for everyone, for some, it has connotations of romance and love, while for others, it's a symbol of female oppression. And the word apple is associated with health and well-being. 
but for many people, it's a symbol of temptation. And in the modern world, it has even come to represent high-end technology products. The connotation of a word depends greatly on the emotions we connect to it based on our personal experiences. This works with images too. While both of these images denote an inner city, the one on the left has connotations of poverty and struggle, while the one on the right connotes a fast-paced, glamorous lifestyle with expensive suits and upward mobility. These feelings and associated understandings come from our experience of the world around us. This is why, to truly understand the meaning of a word, you need more than just its dictionary definition or denotation, but its connotation as well. I want you to practice explaining how connotation and denotation are used. For your assignment, find an advertisement in a map. So, Okay, so I think, uh, you know, uh, in, a pre in a video, I think it's a good example of father, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know whether you have, uh, you know, different experience, okay? Some of the father might be very strict, right? Very demanding, right? Okay, very harsh, but uh, on the other hand, some father can be, uh, you know, very uh, indulgent, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so... So when you see the word father, right, actually, I mean, it, it, maybe you, you think about your own father, right? <laughs> okay. Actually, basically, it can uh, be categorized into maybe two types or more. Depends on your experience, okay? Right. Okay, now, what is the connotation of each of the following words? Okay? So now, can you do it now? Okay, all right, just, <laughs> all right. So, uh, okay, all right. Uh, you can do it individually, okay, first, okay, and afterwards you can share with your classmates to see whether you have the same or different, okay, right, that's yeah, just, okay. So, please just provide a word for each of these words, okay, or meaning, okay, the connot connotation of each of the following word, okay. Who doesn't have a lot of experience? Mm -hmm. Okay, just uh, 
the connotation of social with English. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. What else? Peace. Clean. Peace. 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 Peace, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Peace, okay. Yeah, peace. Peace, okay. Those are right. <laughs> okay. okay, now what, what about women? <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Or, okay, yes. Yeah. Traditionally, uh, you, know, uh, you know, most women, women are, are mothers, right? Okay, okay. right? Mm. What else about women? Emotional. Emotional. <laughs> okay, it is true, right? <laughs> okay. What else? Feminist. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Elegant. Elegant. Okay. Right. Okay. Me too. Uh, Nicholas. <laughs> what? Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> 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 all right. Okay. Now, men. Men, yes. Strong. 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 Dominating. Hunk. What else? Hunk. 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 It's a character in Marvel's film. Hulk. 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 So, so what? What are particular about that person? Because uh, he is very muscular. <laughs> and also very strong. Very strong. Okay. Is that ideal man? No. <laughs> no, I mean, so what, what's your image about men? So most men should be, ideal man should be a muscu muscular, with lots of muscles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's not the ideal man. Or what else? Okay. Ambitious. Ambitious. Smart. Smart? <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Alright, okay. Now meat. Meat? Delicious. Delicious. What do you see? Fat. Fat. Okay. What about here? Protein? Mm -hmm. Protein. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is a very simple task, right? But actually, just to show you that you know, mm -hmm. words can have quite different connotations, mm -hmm. and also associated with maybe uh, some a particular personal experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, it can reflect, uh, you know, the, the historical period you are. Okay, at the moment. Okay, the current situation. Now, semantic field. Before I talk about, I tell you about what's semantic field. I, I'm going to give you a simple memory challenge, challenging task. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to see twelve words. Okay, without the help of a pen or paper, try to remember as many of the words as you can in fifteen seconds. So I'll give you twelve words, and I also give you fifteen seconds, and try to memorize, remember these words. Okay. These are simple words. You all know these words. Okay. All <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So can I start now? Yes. Okay. Time's up. <laughs> Okay, now you have to tell me, uh, okay, which words do you remember? School. School. Teacher. 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 Teac
So what makes you remember these words? So how many categories are there? Two. Two. So one is related to what? Education. Education. The other? Swimming. Swimming. That's right. So this is related to swimming, right? Swimming suit, pool lane, brass joke, goggles. And these words are related to education. Is it okay? But uh, pupil, you know, uh, yeah, pupil usually belong to our school, primary school, right? Yeah, okay. All right. You know goggles? Goggles are the glasses for swimming. Okay. So actually, you can see that. Goggles, goggles. Okay, okay. What I want to say here is, you know, words actually are related to each other. Uh, you know, but they are not synonyms, right? They're not synonyms like kindergarten, blackboard, they're not textbook, but they're all related with each other, you know, under the broad term like education. Is that right? Okay. So we, maybe we can see that these words, they belong to a same semantic field related to education, right? While this, maybe they belong to, you know, swimming. Is that right? Okay. So this actually, this, uh, you can use semantic field perhaps to help students perhaps learn this vocabulary. Is that right? Mm. Group them together. Right? And you can learn these words more easily, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one strategy. You know, we store words in our mental lexicon, which, I, which I'm going to give you more details, I think, in maybe in session eight. Okay, session eight, uh, which has a structure. So words are related with each other. Okay? 